Hey guys, what's up? It's David from Pandaily. Uh, this is going to be a very different video today, but please stay till the end because we have something exciting to share with you guys. So, a few days ago, we received a picture from an anonymous person and he was at a cafe in Beijing somewhere and he was sitting beside the OnePlus CEO Pete Lau. Now this is very exciting because he managed to snap a picture of him while he was not looking and he caught sight of a device, a mysterious device on the table next to him. We're pretty sure it's the OnePlus 7 Pro that we're seeing here. So obviously I can't tell you who this person is. All I know is that it's taken in Beijing and it's taken recently. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a picture right now. Here it is. <clears throat> Look at this picture right here. You can see the one. This is clearly the OnePlus CEO P. Lau. He's at I don't know. This looks like breakfast right here. And you see this device right here. This is what we want to look at. So right away from the picture, you can see that on the table, there's an unknown device sitting face down on the table. This picture is blurry when we zoom in, but even though we can't say for sure which device it is, one thing is for sure. That's clearly a triple camera setup on the back cover. And as we all know, OnePlus has never had a triple camera set on any other previous devices. So this pretty much confirms all the leaks out there right now. Yes, the new OnePlus 7 Pro will definitely have a triple camera setup. Now spec wise, I'm not sure what it'll have, but knowing OnePlus, they'll definitely try to cram every latest spec into that beast of a machine. Pete himself even confirmed with the Verge interview about three days ago, saying that they're gonna have some kind of a breakthrough in display technology. And we also saw from the previous OnePlus tweet that the word smooth has got three O's in it. So that pretty much hints and confirms that it'll definitely have a triple camera setup, but it says nothing about the display that they'll have. Now, the way I see it, the emphasis that they place on the word smooth and not fast pretty much confirms everyone's you know, expectations that it'll have something to do with the refresh rate changing. I think OnePlus would definitely go for probably like a 90 hertz refresh rate, uh, but I don't see them going up to 120 just because the phone would just be way too expensive to produce. And secondly, it'll just put the phone's price at a very, let's say, not friendly price range for consumers. But, you know, most importantly, it just wouldn't make it a very well-rounded flagship if they have such a great improvement on the display. Now, the Razer gaming phone we know has a 120Hz refresh rate, but that's because it's marketed as a gaming phone and it supports games that, you know, have 120 frames per second. But OnePlus doesn't do that. OnePlus makes great, well-rounded, premium flagships that provide a you know, a very well-rounded flagship experience. So that's why the way I see it, they probably won't be going above 90 hertz. I mean, the only other device that comes to mind with 120 hertz is the iPad Pro 2018 version, you know, that has that Pro Motion system. So that's why I think OnePlus will be choosing that sweet 90 hertz refresh rate spot just right there. So the only thing I'm concerned about is its price. Because for them to be making such a bold claim on social media these past week that, you know, it's the emperor or the king of phones, that's a pretty bold claim. And, you know, one of the major display suppliers right now is Samsung. And to say that, you know, it's the industry best, that I guess to be excited. I mean, look at this picture. Triple camera setup pretty much says 40 megapixel primary sensor. Wide angle, telephoto lens. That's kind of like the regular setup that we have, right? With all the flagships. As for the selfie camera, I uh, can't say for sure that they're going, they'll be going for that pop-up camera module, but knowing OnePlus, um, I'm pretty sure they won't be going for the punch hole. I mean, think about this, a OnePlus 7, a 7 Pro, and then a 7 Pro 5G version after that. I think it's kind of reasonable to say that we can expect the price of this device to probably sit around the Galaxy S10 price range or the Huawei P30 Pro price range. I don't know. And it definitely signals a shift in OnePlus' strategy into that very, very high-end premium smartphone sector. I mean, OnePlus has always been an Android favorite among users just because they were able to cram everything, you know, to lay the best technology into that one device and keep it at a very reasonable price range. But with this big step, um, I'm not sure they can keep, you know, a price cap on that right now. But I don't know, I've made my guesses, so I'd like to know your thoughts. 
Uh, please let me know how much you think the newest OnePlus flagship will cost and leave them down below in the comments. And um, guess I'll see you guys soon.